shall always a reminder for myself and abukul ajis of da'if or miskeen or zalim or jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah grant for us the guidance through the gates of maghfirah and forgiveness and that to have a heart in which to be open towards Allah's reality and the reality of not being heedless. The reality of not being heedless thinking that there's no consequences in the actions that we do and it's very real and that Allah's immense grace and rahmah is very real. And with somebody very dear we were talking and a story of a lady came and a lady that was continuously volunteering for old people and going to a nursing home and helping and helping and helping to bathe them, talk with them, be of service and volunteer through a nursing home and for many, many years was of service. And this always a, a way to talk to people about Divine Grace and Allah's immense majestic oceans of love. Those whom don't have maybe a religious belief, don't or feel their belief is weakened or lost. And these stories and reminders and that's why life of service has an immense importance. So the lady served and served and served and all her family wondering, why you serve so much and why you have to always go so often and regardless of what people pushed and talked, she always committed herself to that service. And as it would turn out in life, she came down with cancer. She was not somebody that made a large amount of money and didn't have ability for fancy services, fancy care and a difficulty that you live your life of service and Allah send a test of difficulty. And this person thinking that, I'm now the one with cancer and I have this sickness and how am I going to take care of myself? I don't have the ability to pay for these hospitals and these cares. And the word got out that this lady was sick and her condition was bad and that she didn't have the ability to go to these fancy treatment centers. And alhamdulillah with Allah's amazing grace and immense mercy had inspired that lady. Nothing is happening by coincidence in life. Nothing happens as a random, we don't believe anything is random not through our atomic reality because anything was random then you would walk in this room and our atoms would explode and we would have all been dead. There's not a movement when Allah describe everything is like a, like a track in an orbit. It has a very precise movement, your every word, your every breath Allah has programmed, there is nothing random at all. Even the thought you produce is from Allah the step that you make is from Allah until shaitan try to block it and make it to be a bad inspiration. But Allah is writing everything and as it would happen the lady was contacted by the facility that she had volunteered all her life, a great portion of her life and said that, we heard the unfortunate news that you're sick now and we heard the unfortunate news that you don't have the ability for the care and we don't want you to worry at all about that situation, we will take care of you. As you served this community and this people, we're here to serve you. And they took the lady in, they cared for her through her treatment and she described that the treatment she would have never been able to pay for that type of facility and that type of care. And that is Divine Grace, don't need complicated examples and, and, and all sorts of spiritual examples. But Allah 
is so apparent in everything and Allah's grace is apparent in everything. You do good to see good, you do good actions so that Allah will bring good actions destined in your direction. For Allah knows what He wrote, He knows that He wrote for this lady to have a sickness at an age. He knows what her rizq would be and what it would not be, what He inspired within her heart at a younger age, be of service. With everyone around not knowing her destiny, what her shortcomings would be and that her suffering. Because when you listen to people, they're not the one who's going to be in the bed sick with you, their life is their own grave. Everyone has their own grave to worry about, you just have to make sure that your bed, your hospital and your grave are prepared for you. And this is always our example in life that when you feel inspired and you feel that you have to do what your Lord's calling is to do, there's nobody that can stop it or should stop it and that you have to move towards that Divine grace. So the lady was inspired to do the service, to be of service, to help people. Never thinking in her mind, I'm going to do this and one day I'm going to get cancer and I'm going to be helped. But Allah knew and that's the importance, that's the inspiration, that's the understanding of, of being of service and khidmat and, and Allah's immense rahmah. That if you do good and you do these inspirations and putting into your heart, you don't know what difficulties will be taken away, you don't know why you're inspired to give, to do, to be of service, to do good deeds to feed someone, give water, give food on a day that maybe you won't have food, God forbid, that you won't find something to drink, that you won't find a shelter from some sort of difficulty but all your life you try to provide shelter. And that's what the, the immensity of Islam, the immensity of what Sayyidina Muhammad brought for us, just do good. Do good at every occasion. Do as much as you can what we talked the night before. Once you did enough good for yourself then start to do good for your children, do good for your loved ones. Do so much in your account that there's something of so much immense barakah that that barakah reach to everybody. And as soon as you're of service and deal with people and see with people, you see how a proud person can be reduced to nothing. And in their older age they suffer from sicknesses and because of their sicknesses they have many difficulties and yet they still have to run for their rizq and their money. And their suffering as they're running for their money and in their sicknesses. And the open heart people and the people of tafakkur have to look, you have to see. That's why you volunteer at hospitals, volunteer at different places, be of service to sick children and see and see the condition of how somebody was once strong and now they're sick. Now their, their, their inability to even take care of themselves, to clean themselves and think to yourself that with your Lord who will take care of me? I see the condition of these people, who will take care of me? Who will provide for me? And these days of maghfirah and tawbah, all they can think is, Ya Rabbi, all these difficult things that we see and we deal with, what if they come towards us? How will we provide for ourselves? How will we take care of ourselves? Who will be there for taking care of us? And that's why the heart is inspired, then do good, do good all your life. So that when your hisab comes and we don't know when that time comes, well as a witch say, why you have to worry about food? You gave so much food to people, you, you, you served the people, you did what you could for people. Why you have to worry about a day in which you won't be eating? But the heart has to feel that, has to think, I'm seeing them running for their sustenance while they're sick and they have an inability to do it. Ya Rabbi don't let in my old age to be in difficulty, don't let me to lose my dignity in which I can't take care of myself, let me to return. Not to see our children in difficulty, our loved ones, our community and our family.
These are the days of repentance. These are the days in which we ask all those that done to open it. Open your heavens with the oceans of water and rahmah to wash us and to dress us, Ya Rabbi. Shaitan has overtaken us, put every type of difficulty upon our families and our communities. Every type of sickness and enemies outside and within, open your rahmah and mercy Ya Rabbi. It doesn't cost anything from Divine Presence. Dress us and bless us with that rahmah. Write for us a good ajr that not to, to run from your Divinely service but run to your service. We don't know what that service sets aside for us in our account. One whom plans wisely in their youth, in their old age, They've been set aside, Allah inspiring same, then plan wisely in your life. Live a life of service, live a life of belief, live a life of good deeds. Feed people, give people water, give people good hope, give people sense of love. Argue with no one, fight with no one, reprimand no one. For day Allah to reprimand and to fight you, God forbid. So all of this that Prophet reminds, I didn't come to give people titles, adaban rabbi fa ahsanam fi tahti. I came just to perfect character. And Allah verify khuluqul azim, you are of a magnificent character. And what Prophet inshaAllah wound from his nation, just have good character. Your good character will suffice, with your good character Allah will fix your amal. But the one whom their, their actions and deeds are heavy but their character is bad, the deed won't even save them. And what Prophet was teaching his nation, even their deeds may be low but their character is high, their character will save them. Because Allah it's the common sense, Allah look to character, your character is very beautiful, very caring, very loving. You always want to help and do good, don't look for recompense and something back from people, oh I serve, nobody else serves, that's not your business. You serve because you love your Lord and you want Allah's ridan satisfaction and a day will come where Allah says, now you'll see this service and its reward to you. So we pray these days of maghfirah, these are the 10 days in which to ask Allah forgive me. Forgive my loved ones, forgive my children, forgive my community that open and dress us from your lights, open the, the heavens that doesn't cost anything to open the gates of this rahmah and shower us with these lights just to make shaitan angry. That whatever he tried to do to destroy our belief and to destroy our families, destroy our way that Allah to illuminate it with His Divinely lights. Because Allah is the greatest of defenders and Allah is the wali and awliya of His loved ones that Allah would defend, Allah would protect. We pray that Allah inspire us in these 10 days to do good, to be dressed by these blessings and to complete His favours upon our soul, to open its realities and its lights and its infinite blessings. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha Click the link now to subscribe.